Went Outdoors, talking with Whitey from Sitka, talking about the new Stratus bib. Hi everybody, uh, Michael White here from uh, Sitka Gear. We're located obviously up in Bozeman, Montana. Um, I manage Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming on behalf of the brand and have an opportunity to travel throughout my territory. Love stopping here in uh, Boise, Idaho to see the folks at Linton Outdoors. And we thought that today we'd spend a little time giving you a video overview of the new Stratus bib. Um, you know, Marty, the thing about the Stratus collection in its entirety, whether we're talking the Stratus vest, the Stratus jacket, the Stratus pant, or the new Stratus bib, those four pieces really represent, at least in my opinion, I think in the opinion of a lot of whitetail hunters, it's our most versatile overall whitetail system. Because what you have in the whole Stratus collection is you've got this ultra quiet micro fleece fabric on the outside. It's very burr resistant, it's abrasion resistant, it's durable, but most importantly it's really quiet for the, for the times that you're in those hev more heavily timbered vegetated environments or where, where you're sitting in a tree and you just need to make sure that you're not giving away your position through a, a, a loud fabric. So you've got a really quiet fabric. Coupled with that, you have a full windstopper uh, barrier in there. So you've got complete protection from the wind. So really what that does, that just adds an additional level of comfort to the overall system. And again, whether you're in the Stratus vest, Stratus jacket, Stratus pant, or now the new Stratus bib, you're going to have that full windstopper protection. But then we start to build in some additional things into the bib that we don't have in the other pieces. So first and foremost, you've got this really nice pocket array where you've got this large cargo pocket that's on silent snaps. So you've got easy access to your gear that you might have. Because keep in mind, you're sitting in a tree stand. So we even biomechanically position to those pockets to be easily accessible with minimal movement in the tree stand. Yep. You then have a full zippered panel down here. That just helps you either take them on or put them, you know, take them on and off when you get into the stand, what we like to call don and doff in the, uh, in, in, the, in the technical outerwear world. But also at the same time, it does snap down there at the bottom so that you could then easily kind of open it up for some additional ventilation should you need to remain uh, comfortable in the stand while giving, uh, getting out some of that body heat. If you look at the side here, you've got some stretch panels here on the side that give you some freedom of movement. You've got built-in hand warmer pockets. You've got the zippered front here. And then you also have a gusseted crotch area that gives you better freedom of movement. Our suspender system is a really unique and innovative suspender system. It's full stretch here through the shoulders. But then as you come down into here, you essentially have a whole bunch of different tabs that you can lock the suspender into a different position. And the one thing I say to a lot of people out there is that make sure that when you're putting the suspender on, you pass the end of the suspender behind the actual buckle so that it's not getting in your way and it creates a really clean environment in the front so that it's uh, that's not getting getting in the way. You know Marty right now you're wearing a size large it's what I had in my sample set because this isn't out yet tell me a little bit about how, how it's fitting you even as you've been shrinking over our last number of videos. Well I'm about 6'1", 230 pounds as you can tell I would probably want to jump into an extra large just because if you're wearing anything underneath this besides shorts, which I'm wearing right now, right. you want a little bit more comfort room. So that gives you an idea as far as how my make, build, and weight is. Hopefully that helps you guys in the, you know, as far as sizing. Yeah, and, and, and I also think that in, especially in the elevated category, oversizing a little bit is not a bad thing because you just mentioned, hey, I'm going to possibly want to layer underneath this. And when you get into that November rut cycle and it's cold out there, you might want to drop some additional layers underneath it, whether it's the new Merino wool base layer products, maybe it's the new Celsius Midi that we've talked about, or maybe it's your Stratus vest with Stratus jacket combination. So I definitely recommend to most people that they go a, a size over what they normally would wear. And I think that for you, yeah, an X would be straight in the mix. Mm -hmm. The other thing to remember um, or to know about for the Stratus bibs is that we also have these available in tall sizes. So our standard sizing spectrum on the Stratus bib is small through triple extra large, but then we add in medium tall, large tall, extra large tall to give you those tall and size that's where, capabilities. Where if you notice, I could probably do a tall. Yeah. I am 6'1". I think so. you could easily do a tall at 6'1". And the one thing that I say about the tall sizes at Sitka, and it's a real simple rule, think about 2 and 2. 
That's not Chuck Woolery yeah. saying it's, you know, give me two and two from the game show. Remember that back in the day? Mm -hmm. What I'm talking about is two and two meaning two inches. Think about two inches in additional body length and two yeah. inches in additional uh, sleeve, body, or inseam is generally what you're thinking about in the tops. Yep. So again, from a sizing perspective, yeah, I'd say you're definitely an XL. Great. But anyway, that is the new Stratus bib that now rounds out and completes our entire bib collection. Because keep in mind, we've got a Fanatic light bib. We've got a Stratus bib, we have a Fanatic bib, and then we have an Incinerator bib. And that's essentially going from early season to late season um, throughout those four bibs. So think about those four bibs as you start to get set for your season. Great. And this is uh, Michael White and Marty from LintonOutdoors.com signing out on the Fanatic bib. Thanks for watching, guys.